Hi and welcome to Annalise Maths. Today we're going to be looking at multiplication. Um, we're going to be looking at multiplication by the grid method. I've got another video on column method if that's the method you prefer. So our objectives laid out by Edexcel are we need to be able to multiply two digit numbers by single digit numbers, multiply two digit by double digits, understand their different strategies and understand the vocabulary of multiplication, including that repeated addition is a way to complete it. Some keywords today. Um, digits, units and tens have been covered in my place value lesson, so please check that out. Um, multiple, multiplies by, times, lots of and doubles. So we're going to look at all of these words as the lesson goes on. The most common place people lose marks is make a mistake as far as place value goes with written calculations and not understanding their multiplication facts and patterns. So get practicing those times tables. So the sort of language we're looking for when we're dealing with multiplication, the sort of language is multiply, times, lots of, groups of and double. So you may get asked to multiply two numbers, times two numbers. If somebody had five lots of seven sheep, how many sheep do they have? Five groups of seven sheep and double is obviously very specific for timesing by two. So when we multiply, we're using our times tables to times numbers together. Knowing our times tables is really going to help us, so get practicing. Uh, there are a number of methods we can use. Column method, I've looked at in one of my other videos. Today, we're going to look at grid method. There is also the lattice method and repeated addition. So if I wanted to do 21 times 7, first thing I'm going to do is break it down into my place value. So 21 is 20 and 1 and 7 is 7. So I've broken down into my place value. I'm then going to do these one at a time. I'm going to fill in the gaps. So 7 times 20. Now when I'm doing ones like this, I'll multiply my digits together and then add my 0. So 7 times 2 is 14. Add my 0 is 140. 7 times 1 is 7. And then I add these numbers together to get me 147. Don't forget, when working with smaller numbers, repeated addition could be an option. So 21 times 7 is the same as saying 21 7 times. So I could add it together, add 21 together 7 times. Okay, let's look at a slightly different one. 14 times 15, a little bit bigger this time. Don't forget, it doesn't matter which way around we have our numbers. 14 times 15 and 15 times 14 are the same thing. So again, I'm going to break down into my place value. So 14 is going to be 10 and 4 and 15 is 10 and 5. So then I'm going to fill in everything in my grid. So firstly, 10 times 10 is 100. 10 times 4 is 40, 10 times 5 is 50, and 5 times 4 is 20. Then I'm going to add all of those numbers together. I'm going to add a cross and then down. So 140 is 140, 50 and 20 is 70, and those numbers added together gives me 210. Okay, your turn. Give these questions a go. So pause the video and we'll see how you get on. OK, let's check out those answers. Hopefully this is what you got. Let's have a look and see what it's going to look like in an exam situation. Each car driver pays Kamar £8 to go to the car boot sale. There are 72 cars at the car boot sale. How much money in total do the car drivers pay? Hopefully you got 576. So let's break that down. So I'm going to do my grid. Oops, sorry, no, not the straightest lines I've ever drawn. I'm going to do my grid. So 72 is 72 and 8 is 8. So 7 times 8 is 56. Add my 0, so 560. And 8 times 2 is 16. And if I add those together, I get 576. Okay, let's see the next one. 
Amir is doing an IT course. His course is for nine months. He pays £86 each month. Amir says the costs cost more than £750 in total. Is Amir correct? So don't forget, in an exam situation, is Amir correct? You do need a yes or a no. Now, at entry three, we will have a tick box at the bottom to tick yes or no. Once we get to level one, we'll have to write our yes or no. So pause and give this one a go, please. OK, let's see how you got on. Hopefully you got 774 and the fact yes, because he thinks it costs more than 750. So let's check and see where you got that from. So again, I'm going to draw my grid. Okie dokie. So 86 is 80 and 6 and my 9 is 9. Okay, so 9 times 8 is 72, add my 0, so 720, 9 plus 6 is 54, so 720 plus my 54, 4, 7, gives me 774. Okay, let's try another one. So Ellery goes on holiday for 14 days. She needs £25 spending money each day. How much does she need in total? Pause and give it a go, please. OK, let's see. Hopefully you got £350. So if I'm doing 10 times 25, sorry, 14 times 25 in the grid method, I'm going to draw myself my grid. Need an extra line this time. OK, so 14 is going to be 10 and 4. 25 is 20 and 5. Don't forget, if you've done your 25 and your 14 the other way around, doesn't matter. Um, multiplication can be done either way. So 20 times 10, I'm going to do my 2 times 1 is 2 and 2 zeros. So it's 200. 20 times 4, 2 times 4 is 8. Add my 0. 10 times 5 is 50, 5 times 4 is 20. So in this row, I've got 280 in total, 200 plus 80. And in this row, I've got 70 in total, 50 plus 20. And if I add these together, I get 350. 0 plus 0 is 0. 7 plus 8 is 15. And 2 plus 1 is 3. OK, let's check out a level 1 question. In a factory, the working week is from Monday to Friday. There are 46 working weeks in a working year. Let's see, bit of stretch and challenge, if you can calculate the number of days in one working year. Pause and give it a go. OK, hopefully you got 230. The, with it being a level one question, they're allowing us to make a few more assumptions. So in a factory, the working week is from Monday to Friday, so they're hoping that you worked out Monday to Friday means there's five days in a working week. It's told you there's 46 working weeks in a working year, and it wants you to know the total number of days in that working year. So today we've looked at multiplying two digit numbers by one digit, two digit by two digits. We've looked at the grid method. Don't forget, check out my other video on column method if you wish. Uh, we've looked at some of the language for multiplication and we've looked at repeated addition. So thank you for watching. Best of luck with your studies and don't forget to like and subscribe.